Welcome to our course on the greatest unsolved mysteries of the universe. I'm Brian Schmidt. And I'm Paul Francis. We're both astronomers here at the Australian National University's Mount Stromlo Observatory. And Paul here is an expert on quasars. We're going to learn more about quasars. They're some of the brightest, most exciting objects in the sky. But Paul also works on things closer to home, comets trying to understand how the comets that we see and how they tell us about those that we don't see. And finally, Paul also studies galaxies, huge galaxies, primordial galaxies in the early universe that we still don't really understand very well. So Paul really is an expert in mysteries. Brian started off his research as a PhD on studying supernovae, which is how stars explode. And then when he came to ANU, he started using these supernovae to measure the expansion of the universe and how it's changing, and came up with a totally unexpected result that the universe was expanding faster and faster and faster, which led to the discovery of dark energy and a Nobel Prize, and Brian losing all his spare time. Since then, he's been working on gamma ray bursts, these mysterious flashes of gamma rays that flood through the solar system on a regular basis and tracking them down like crazy, um, continuing his work on supernovae, and he's now also involved in commissioning a new telescope that's going to carry out the first digital survey of the entire southern sky and discover all sorts of interesting stuff. So Paul, in this course, we're doing things a little differently. Normally when you do a course, you study all that you know about the universe or about the subject. And in this course, we're taking a slightly different tack. We're looking at the things we don't know. And there are two reasons for that. One is because you hear most press releases about astronomy, it's always, the astronomer discovered this, NASA discovers that. And that's because you know, we like to look smart and brag, and we're really saying, please give us more money. But the second, uh, that gives a false impression that we actually know most of the things about the universe, which is very far from the truth. We're actually extremely ignorant. Oh, we're not doing badly, considering we're barely evolved monkeys and some average star on the outskirts of a boring galaxy, uh, but we really don't know very much. The other reason is we want this course to tell you about what it's like to be an actual researcher in the field. And researchers don't research things that are known. By and definition, research are things that we don't know. Yeah, in the words of Einstein, if we knew what we were doing, it wouldn't be called research. So that's what we're going to focus on. Um, nine of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the universe, things we don't know the answers about, um, things that are all active topics of research, and in fact, things that we ourselves are researching. And this course is at a level that's a little beyond the average documentary. It really is going to require some, some knowledge of maths and physics at science at the high school level. Yes, so we expect you to be reasonably comfortable with doing algebra and basic physics, things like heat, energy, Newton's laws of motion, things like that. If you're not sure about whether you're going to be able to handle the course, have a look at the homework in the first session. Um, if that's looking feasible, then it doesn't get any harder than that, so you should be on, on track for the entire course. Let me show you how the course works. The first place you come to when you log on to edX will be the course info page. We'll put any news about the course up here, and over on the right is a whole bunch of useful information and links. Most of your time in the course, however, will be spent in the Courseware tab. Click on each section to expand it. Each section starts off with a lesson, which is something like an online equivalent of a lecture. These will have a video, followed by a question, typically to test what you've just learned in the video. There are commands to show captions in the video to make it full screen and to change the speed if you want us faster or slower. You can click on the words to, to fast forward to a particular place in the caption. And when there is mathematical stuff in one of the videos, we will show the image we took down below for reference. If you have questions about a video, there is a discussion place at the bottom where you can post your questions and see what other people have said about that. There are also reference notes, worked examples and practice questions, but the really crucial thing is that the homework, the homework will test your understanding of what's in the videos for that section. There are a whole bunch of questions, uh, some of which are numerical answers, some of which are multiple choice, some of which might be symbolic entry. If you have a question about any of these videos, there's a place to discuss it just underneath and to see what other people have asked. 
To help you do the homework, we've got worked examples and practice questions. So I suggest you work through those first. They're not worth marks, but they will get you ready to do the homework assignment. So I think that's most of what you need to know to do this course. If you have any more questions, you'll see the reference notes here in the introductory section. And also just post something on the discussion forum and we'll answer your questions if there's anything that's unclear. All right, so let's go on to our first section where we look at the expansion of space.